Mariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your September tarot scope. What? It's been so long. Yes, we start with you guys first because why? It's your motherfucking birthday. That's why. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great and fantabulous and just super, super awesome. Big, big hugs to all you family members returning and big, big warm hugs to all of us that are are recovering and going through Hurricane Harvey and the aftermath. Um, before I get started, I just want to say, guys, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness and thank you for your prayers. Um, appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I, I'm out here in Kingwood, Texas. I moved uh, recently from Houston to Kingwood and um, my place is my old place is underwater, but I am nice and dry here and uh, waiting to see when we go back to work. Uh, so <laughs> with that being said, big love to you guys. Big love to us. And um, let's get through this together. We can do it. It's going to be life changing. It already is. So with that being said, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for thank you for showing your love and your kindness. Thank you for supporting me on Instagram Live for the first time last week. Might do it again. Not sure. Not sure. But big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. And yes, some high fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So there it goes. We're going to start off with the B. The B is trying to let you know something. So when I was meditating, trying to think about what is it that this B is trying to tell you. And I was thinking about the color yellow. And I was thinking about how adamant he is about getting the pollen out of the, or the nectar out of the flower. How important that is. So I'm going to tell you, watch what you focus your energy on this month and communicate effectively effectively to yourself and to the universe exactly what you want in your life okay then we'll go through your mind body soul right about now so this b is all about examining your productivity are you being fertile are you being a busy body what busy body so you have the ability to accomplish the impossible your little wings can do you can do things that people find it impossible to do so communication, this is good luck and love. A lot of stuff with family, because you think about the queen bee and, and um, Egypt, not Egypt, king, queen bee and teamwork. So it's about coming together as a team, okay? Now, bees are, are signs of royalty also. Think about honey, think about luck, um, think about money. So this might be a lucky month for you, maybe blessings in disguise, okay? Now, a little bit astrologically, I'm not gonna get too much into it. I do recommend that you follow somebody. I follow the Leo King and Stormy Grace, and there's a couple others that I'd follow. I love Kelly. However, I feel that if you listen to it, your message may be totally different than what I pick up. So the highlights that I have are the full moon on the 6th in Pisces, which is known as the corn moon. We got the new moon on the 20th in Libra. And yeah, Libra season is coming. <laughs> and Neptune will be going... Neptune is still retrograde and Mercury is going direct on the 5th. So we're going to have that communication clear up on the 5th and then the full moon, you know, is going to highlight everything you've been working on. And as um, the Leo King stated, everything you've been working on for the last two years is like coming to your face. You can't ignore it anymore. It's there. ta da out. Pat out. All right. So pay attention. It's like that flower. It's in your face, baby. Now, Cheetah is what's on your mind, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, you need to watch where you focus your attention. You need to watch what you're putting your attention to and get it clear, stay focused to achieve your goal. What is it that you want? I find it quite interesting that we have a lot of yellow and black going on here. We have a lot of energy that's coming quick and fast. So I feel like things are coming very, very quickly because if there's a bee chasing me, damn it to hell, I'm running like a crazy person. I'm deathly scared of bees. However, I think they're beautiful. A real quick story on a bee. My daughter, she's eight, and we were going home to visit my family and to Palestine, and we were just leaving Houston. And um, she had been talking to me, what do you think my spirit animal is? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And I guess lo and behold what it was, it was the bee, it rode all the way with us. <laughs> to Palestine for a two and a half hour drive. Never stung her, never nothing. Sure, we were freaking out, we rolled the windows down, we tried to get him out, but he just didn't wanna go. So he went with us to Palestine. <laughs> 
So look at where you're focusing your intention and get it there quick. I feel like the sun is in your sign. It's illuminating, it's highlighting, it's giving you what you want and what you need right now. So pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities, but also pay attention to how you're connecting with the universe with the energy that you're giving out. All right, now physically, you got namaste, hey. So it is time for you to realize the energy and the power that you possess inside of yourself. And yes, this is you greeting the new life. This is you greeting your new world that you are creating. So whether you're like putting out this, like I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and you got your little list, Virgo, cause you always have your little list, your to-do list that you mark off on. Why? Because I love Virgos and I love how analytical you are. And that's what makes you get things done. So acknowledge your special gifts. Don't look at it as a flaw and connect with it so that you can move forward. Now, Soul Star also came out for you. Now, this is like that transpersonal chakra that exists outside of you, okay, or within the earth. It's what really keeps us grounded. And um, it's really wanting you to connect um, it's with the upper three chakras. So you really want to stay with it. It's giving your message from your higher purpose, from your higher self, from your guides, that those little synchronicities and pss, pss, you shouldn't do that or hey, you shouldn't pick up the phone or maybe you need to pick up the phone. Whatever it is, you're getting those messages and it's time for you to really start trusting the divine and let it guide you because you are the light, okay? Look at that sun. Look at that sun power you have right now. So spiritually, the reason why you have to start doing all this hard work, Virgo, and you got to really start looking at the way you're accomplishing it, because I feel like Cheetah is really trying to come through for you. I think Cheetah wants to tell you there's more to life than what you're what you're going after, but you have to be very focused on what it is. It's like that killer app. app Ah, killer attitude, okay? It says, stop deluding yourself by thinking that there isn't enough time. There are too many other things to do or you're not up to the mission that's calling you to action. Whatever it is that's been on the back burner for the last eight months that you've been saying, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, this is the month to do it. This is your moment, Virgo, and this is how you're gonna move forward. This is also about honoring spirit's purpose for you by making a run for it. You gotta go, baby. Time is calling you. There's there's this calling you have in your spirit. And it doesn't have to be about love or money or it's something spiritual within you that you're ready to go. This is your warrior goddess energy. This is speed. This is grace. This is energy, self-esteem. It's focusing on what it is you want and then going after it. All right. So spiritually, you see this beautiful little fairy. So look at this picture. This is from the wisdom of the oracle. She's sitting on this pillar. She's waking up from a deep, deep sleep from the last eight months and realizing this is a new day. This is a new life. This is a new beginning. What are you going to do with your new beginning, Virgo? And by the way, happy birthday, baby. <laughs> so this is a birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air. It's coming in for you. And when I saw this card, the first thing I thought about was, I love what you do for me, Toyota. <laughs> and then the song, I got a new attitude. I think you're going to start looking at life in such a different way. It's not so much of a pessimistic way, but at the opportunities that the universe is laying and extending to you. In relationships, if they're old or new, they're going to feel fresh and vibrant. But it's time for you to connect with your higher power so it can lead you to where you're supposed to be. Okay? Being optimistic is really where you need to focus your intentions and your energy because that's what you're going to be attracting. It's that law of attraction that, you know, everyone's always talking about. But it's true. Where are you focusing your energy? Because that bee and that cheetah, they're the same colors, yellow and black, okay? And I always think of black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> that is a fast, fast car, and it's time for you to jump in the driver's seat and take control because you have allowed others to drive your black and yellow sports car, and it's your turn, Virgo. It's your birthday. If nothing else, it's just your birthday, and they need to take a back seat, and it's all about you. All right, so we're going to see what um, the Babylonian Tarot has for you. I have pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Well, let's pray. Saints until to bless these cards. Show us the energy that you have for Virgo for the month of September. 
give us clear and concise messages as we move forward. Okay, I cut the deck. I have the Three of Cups with the Eight of Discs. Some of y'all are going to learn a little bit about yourselves if you're in a third-party relationship. You're going to realize that you're tired of being left out in the cold. Others of you are going to be celebrating the fact that you've learned new skills and you're ready to get your groove on, all right? You've been, you've been like practicing and doing what you need to do. I say laying the foundation because the Eight of Discs for me is like you went and studied. You've been looking at the stars, the moon, the sun, and you've been learning some things out there Virgo you might be teaching others about it whatever it is you know whatever it is you've been working on and they do not want to shuffle for me today okay let's see I do have your stone for you your crystal there and by the way guys I have been rolling forge for you guys for everything I test everything with my dice and with my um <laughs> with my pendulum just to make sure that we are on point okay so I'm gonna move this up a little bit I'm gonna take these out of the way we will continue talking about them so in the past we have the Queen of Wands in the in the present the eight of disc the unknown is the ace of disc or what you don't see or what you what's hidden the advice is the wheel damn it and the possible outcome is the five of arrows. Overall energy for you this month is justice reversed, okay? So behind justice reversed is the princess of wands. So I kind of feel like this might be a family situation that's going on. So in the past, Virgo, either you were dealing with a fire sign or you were acting like the queen of wands. This energy is high power for looting, getting the job done. Like I always say, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what I mean? You were laying it down this month or last month or two weeks ago or yesterday. You were in full control, okay, or dealing with somebody who was helping you right now learn the skills to pay the bills i feel like this focus has been for you a lot of times when i read for people it's it's usually love focused and a lot of times that's not really where the energy is going they want to know more about what's happening in their career what's happening here and what's going on there but i feel like this is like new skills to live your life all right. This is just some stuff that's going on in the celestials and you've been paying attention to it. You've been you've been minding your P's and Q's like they say. So I kind of feel like you've had some assistance from the Queen of Wands or you are the Queen of Wands and you are being a leader. You're directing your energies and you know what you want now. You see the big picture, right? The hidden aspect or what you don't see is that this is what? A new beginning. The Ace of Disc is coming through. I want you to see you have the Eight of Disc, the Ace of Disc, and the Wheel. I feel like cycles, this could be where you break the cycle. The energy is for you, but will you do it? Will you choose to do it or will you allow the injustice to rule? Okay? And the injustice I feel is about a partnership, a relationship. Business, it's something with a, with a pair, okay, because of the two. I kind of want to see what this uh, queen has for you. Let's see. Let's see what this shows. The energy of the queen. What is the queen bringing in? You might be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but this is um, someone who's bringing in some bringing in some. <laughs> They're on fire. I feel like yellow is a good color for you this month. I don't know why I'm going to tell you that. You should wear a lot of yellows. Maybe to build up your confidence so we don't have to go through defeat. All right. This queen brought you forth some information because either you were about to give up or you were being lied to. And as I turn the... <laughs> oh, as I turn this deck over, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck to give me a little bit more. And it's the Prince of Disc Upright. So either you are dealing with a slow moving energy, slow moving information, or you're dealing with another earth sign, or this is you. However, your, your situation is very different from everyone else's, apply what, what comes to you. However, this queen has shed light on some things that wasn't going the right way, that you were neglecting yourself on, and you're highly focused on it which is why we need to learn new skills because it's bringing a lot of anxiety and you could miss 
your new beginning. So that's what the queen was bringing forth to you at the at maybe last month. Maybe he's been bringing it to you for the last seven months. However, I feel like this information is crucial and you need to pay attention to it. We have arrows and arrows. This is about information and decisions. In the middle, it's about breaking the cycle. So the advice is the wheel. Now is the time. What are you doing to get on the ride, Virgo? Let's go. Like I'm telling you, it's like a steering wheel. Who is in control, baby? Are you shifting gears or are you allowing somebody else to shift those gears? Because that's what's going to determine this. Okay, because it looks really, really good, but the possible outcome is being defeated. And I kind of want to get a little bit more on what that means. Hmm. There we go. There's that four. It's going to be something about laying the foundations. Y'all have gotten fours, I would say, for almost eight out of ten of the dice that I've thrown. And you're not listening to your spirit guide because at the bottom of the deck, it's your spirit guide for manifestation. So there's something you've been wanting to manifest, but you're unable to do it because you haven't broken the cycle, which is going to lead to regret if you don't. Why? Because it's emotional baggage that you're holding on to. There's something emotional. There's something heavy. It's like you don't want to see this decision that you have to make and you're walking back to the lies. So Virgo, you've got to pay attention to what's unfolding in front of you. Open up your eyes. What did Cheetah tell you? Get a clear on your intention and stay focus this is going back if you decide to go back this is the vibe i'm getting if you go back baby to whatever it is you're gonna feel enslaved you're gonna feel restricted you're gonna feel heavy you're gonna feel stuck but if you would say you know what i've learned new skills i have a new beginning it's my new opportunity i'm gonna bust through i believe that it could change should we clarify this Kara? Okay, I'm going to pull a message from the Animal Oracle. Hopefully this is the right one. Ha! <laughs> Virgo, if you don't heed this morning, because you have been warned on Instagram Live, you have been warned, I think, on your birthday reads, but you got weasel again, okay? Be silent, pay attention, observe with your eyes and ears, physically feeling what is happening inside and all around you. And that is what your spirit guide is trying to tell you. There is a weasel in your mix, and you're surrounded by lies. You're surrounded by all these arrows. Pay close attention to what's unraveling because this can be a pivotal point for you to get your breakthrough, okay? Just gonna throw that out there. It's up to you. This is just something that does not have to happen. This does not have to happen. The advice is the wheel. This is the possible outcome if you don't take this advice, okay? You'll, you'll regret it and you'll feel stuck, okay? So, and you're going to have a lot of anxiety because it's hard to break cycles. It's hard to break free. I hate when people are like, oh, well, just change, you know, like just don't, just stop doing it. Okay, yeah, because if it was that freaking easy, I wouldn't be doing it now. Thanks a lot, buddy. Anyways, that's what I have coming in for you. And I think the reason why we have yellow coming up for, like, I feel like you need to wear yellow this month is to have that confidence to have that breakthrough, that confidence to move forward and that confidence to make things change. All right. So, your overall energy for the month is going to be Uluru, okay? And this is all about creativity. It's located in the Northern Territory of Australia. And this is a creation yourself you are also designed to create. Be that through artistic expression or by giving birth to another soul or shaping the very world in which you exist. And that's what's going on right now, okay? Even though this is coming out for your past, this is, this is just telling you, be creative, snake energy. Think about what a snake goes through when it sheds its skin, okay? 
It says, have you ever given up on a creative talent? Do you remember being told that your work was not good enough or that you weren't good enough? Now is the time to express yourself again and it'll bring you the joy that you're looking for. The joy is not in someone else, my friend. The joy is within you. Awaken the Kundalini energy inside of you and rise above, okay? So in the present, it just tells you, remember what you reap is what you sow, okay? And it talks about the rainbow snake. Outside one cave at Uluru that has a number of aboriginal paintings on its walls are two irregularly shaped stones marking a sacred birthplace. It was believed that the snake woman, Bulari, would assist the labor of any woman who gave birth there. You're birthing something new right now. That's what you're doing. Do not be afraid of this new life, guys. It's going to be beautiful, okay? Rainbow Snake, whose head looms in the middle world, is a reminder to care for all creation. When people or animals did wrong, Rainbow Snake would rush upon them, either drowning them to make bays and rivers, or swallowing them and spitting out their bones to form rocks and hills. What you do in this cycle is going to determine what you reap. Go with integrity. Follow your creativity. Look at all these circles. Break the cycle, Virgo. Break the cycle. Now, in the upper world, it talks about the circles at the top of the card represent the sun, the moon, and the stars. Huh, that's what they're looking at over here. Know that in your dream time, it's not over. Dream time ancestors taught their tribes, animals, and humans how to perform secret ceremonies. Okay? Dream time comes to those who celebrate them and land comes alive. Learn to connect to your dreams. Okay? through either a dream journal or just focusing on what it is you want. Reach for the stars. It's in your possession, Virgo. This is your opportunity to break the cycle. Your stone is carnelian, okay? And it's about creativity, again, vitality, regeneration, and sexuality. The deep orange color of the stone links it closely to the sacral chakra, okay? That's working with your creativity, sexuality, and emotional expression. The cycle that needs to be broken is in either three of those areas, okay? It's a highly grounded energy, helps us appreciate and accept the cycles of our life, giving us strength and courage to live lives fully and overcome the blocks and apathy. Grounded in the reproductive center of the body, it allows us to work openly and insightfully with the full range of passionate emotions from envy to love. Okay, so drawing this card indicates that it's time to draw on your inner creative power and regenerate your life. It's just time for that new beginning. I got a new attitude, all right? And what areas of your life do you feel stuck? Use this energy to pull forward. Use that snake energy, that cheetah energy, that bee energy to do what it is you've been wanting to do that you've been birthing, what you've been creating, because it is time. Don't get caught up in this boo-boo doo-doo over here. Break free. Get grounded. Snake energy. Carnelian is a wonderful stone for you to have this month. This is what we're trying to get away from that we don't want to listen to. We got a weasel in our mix, okay? And weasel surrounded by some blue energy, and that's speak up, baby. You're going to have to let him know that he's got to go or she's got to go, whoever it is, because that queen of wands, she shed the light. Are you going to go towards the light? Because you've been peeping, you've been peeping game for a while, Virgo. Hmm? You've been peeping the game, but you haven't changed the, the approach. The approach has to be changed in order to break the cycle. All right, big baby. I hope you guys enjoyed your monthly. Sorry about last month, guys. Had a really, really rough one. And it's still leading on into this one. As I'm surrounded by water, unable to go anywhere, hoping to get some milk soon. Um, keep us in your prayers as we keep others in our prayers. Let's band together. Let's do what we can do. If it's just helping in a small way, help in that small way. If it's with a hug, it's a, an empathetic ear. Or if it's simply with just saying, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I wish I could do more. Then do what, do what it is that you can do. Because... Um, there's a whole lot of healing that has to be going on right now, not just in Houston, Texas, not just in my neck of the woods in Kingwood, but it's hitting Beaumont, it's hitting all the coast, it hit Corpus Christi, it hit all this, 
this area is hit. Texas got hit really hard and Louisiana is getting hit too. So keep us in your prayers, guys. Send us love and light as we send it right back to you. Thank you so much, Virgo. Be blessed. If you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com. If I don't respond, I might not have any electricity, but as soon as I get some, I'll be getting back with you. All right. Take care and be blessed, fam.